too. One of the things that I've seen is just such rebellion from younger women. Don't want to be told how to be godly in an ungodly society. And so they reject the teaching of the older women. And so the teaching of the older women is designed in the Bible. And the Bible, and I heard first lady say, you know, let it be according to thine word. There is no other way that we can get around being godly in an un ungodly society outside of the word of God. And one thing that I see in, in most mothers, and we talk, this is Mother's Day, y'all. I really had to pray about this message, you know, because, you know, normally on Mother's Day you have a, a, a female talking about, you know, mothers and, and so forth, you know. And so I had to ask God to help me to be led by God's spirit to really communicate to you all about how to be godly in an ungodly society. I can tell you that, how to do that. I can't tell you how to be a mother outside the word of God. But when I look at the world today, when I see what has transpired in the world today, where, where, where the world has created this, 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 they have this culture, and in that culture, it tells you that everything is okay. Do as you feel. If it feels good, do it. But one thing about that culture, when it tells you that, it doesn't tell you about the consequences of your actions. Amen. And so as believing men and women of God, amen, we need to understand that we have a culture also. Our culture is the kingdom of God. And whatever God tells us in our culture, we are to take that and we are to infiltrate that into the culture of the world. Why is that so important? It's because the culture of the world is trying to infiltrate itself into, the, into our culture. And so we need to make a stand and we need to tell our young women, 